Well, hello. Is it really that time again? Oh my trucking life. We are ready to go. We are taking this small load down to Pevensey near Eastbourne, right on the south coast. And um, someone left their beacons on. We've just got to check our indicators now. There's not much to it really, it's just three, four, five floor packs and some uh, bits of board. So, nice easy load. And I think I left my night eater on while I was strapping it up. So it's going to be too hot in here now. <laughs> I want to thank you all for your kind comments regarding the extended load delivery I did the other day. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, go check it out. Extended Attention is the name of the video. My first ever extended trailer. Um, I don't know what you're braking for, buddy. So, yes. I'm just going to sit with these guys on the way. Um, what do I say? Yeah, along, along with the comments in the Extended Attention video, I want to thank you all for your comments in general, in any video that I make. It's great to have your feedback, even if it's just to say hello or good video or whatever. Um, it means a lot. It makes the videos all that more worthwhile, knowing someone out there is enjoying them. And we're coming up to one of our favourite parts, everyone. Don't quite think I'm going to be able to get over here just yet, because of this guy wanting to stay over here. He's not smart enough for the smart motorway. That lady is, but we're going quicker than her. Come on, I'm itching to get in there guys, I'm itching. <laughs> no matter what the time of day, if there's other vehicles on the road with you, you can guarantee the majority of them won't be going down the hard shoulder like they should be. Into Warwick Services for a check. Yes, Mr. Bowser. Everything was fine. I wonder where he's going to hide. Let's go! Well, surprisingly enough, the traffic after Junction 10 was actually worse than the traffic leading up to Junction 9, the Oxford mess. So, I don't know how to work that one out. No idea why. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we've got past the Oxford mess now. The next port of call, or the next trouble spot, will be getting on the M25 and around to the uh, M23 off the top of my head, if that's right. Alright, so let's see how it goes the M25, shall we? Oh, 50 mile an hour warnings. What's it going to be like? Oh, 40 mile an hour, but we're still moving at the moment. Come on. And as long as we don't stop, I'm quite content with this for now. Well, it's, it's moving. It ain't too bad, though. Ain't, we ain't stopped. <laughs> That's the main thing. 12 miles to go. And the stunning uh, scenery never ceases to amaze me. It's absolutely glorious. I'm going to try and keep my uh, head movements 
steady. Looks like traffic officers called that guy in. And um, we're behind this um, Volkswagen up. And uh, I wish I could just pick it up and throw it over there because they're doing my head in. <laughs> Ah, here we are. A lovely little area called Stone Cross. I don't know if you can make it out on that beautiful windmill sign. Um, ironically, there is a windmill up here to the right. So I guess that is why there's a windmill on that side. Uh, the site is just around here. Um, we drop straight over these traffic lights, drop down a bit of a hill, and it's on the left. Never mind. Oh. Oh. Uh. Uh. Here we are. And let's hope we can get these off before them storm clouds come down because I've been looking at them in the mirror for the for the past 10 minutes or so and thinking, oh God, I've got to drive back through this. But as long as it finishes what it has to do before I get there, I don't mind. They're probably on break anyway themselves here. Ah, here I am to save the day. All right guys, we are empty already. Uh, it's just a couple of lifts and um, yes nice and easy um, we've managed to just have 15 minutes here after we've unloaded it's always nice when there's an ex lorry driver who works on the forklift because they understand that we need our brakes as well so we've squeezed 15 minutes in here we're on four hours seven minutes driving so we're gonna go and find somewhere to have our half an hour I've just been live on Facebook doing a bit of a live update so if you haven't already liked the page head over to Facebook and shortly I'll be feasting on this beast <laughs> good to see the sandwich van on the site let's get going guys we are heading back up to the house factory now and uh, looks like we're in for some pretty wet and rough weather but at least we didn't get wet while we was unloading that's the main thing let's welcome mother nature to the video oh don't be shy come on well this is a strange little machine here the Renault Renault Zoe, but I'm not sure whether Zoe's been added at a later date. Although the driver definitely doesn't look like someone called Zoe. Very unusual. Although it might be one of those uh, all hybrid cars that solely run on uh, unicorn farts and solar panels. what's going on here anyway we are on our way back to the house factory as I've mentioned so far so good regarding the roads um, we've been on the M25 for a little while now and actually just gone past one of the M4 turns so yes uh, it's normally going to get a bit busier now between now and the M40 which is about four miles I think from here but at the moment so far so good like I say all right, so far so good. Apart from now we have got on the M42. And uh, the problem might start now because there's a lane shut. But the lane that shut is the hard shoulder which no one likes to use anyway. So I can't imagine it being much of a problem. Apart from this guy on the left. Sorry, it's a lady. Cluelessly cutting up everyone up the inside, but Never mind. 
there had been a few signs saying that the lane was shut up ahead or there was a lane closure so ah oh, well never mind so just a little bit of traffic while this lane's shut and then uh, we're almost at the house back the house factory but I was saying it wrong there check out this guy over there on the hard shoulder when it's shut I hope he gets the camera going through that red X and I don't know if it'll be in shot but there's a car broken down in the hard shoulder there so that Mondeo that was just ignoring the X was probably about 200 meters away from smacking into the back of that guy right nearly a, nearly an hour later we managed to get our empty space to put our trailer in and this is the load we're going to be picking up which is going down to Hawley tomorrow um, I've done nearly uh, eight hours driving today so what I'll be doing is just uh, getting her ready and then parking up for tonight over here well that is us for another day um, not bad really it's just gone 12 hours into the shift so I've got a wee bit of time left to give her a bit of a clean if I can try and make a start on her it is two days till I'm taking her to a truck show and I literally haven't had chance I've been out I got back Monday night as everyone was going and uh, she's in dire need of a bit of attention I tell you I'm hoping tomorrow night I'll be back at the yard so I can give her a wash and I'll just stay after everyone's gone if I have to because I'm, I'm really nervous about, about her getting in show I'm never going to be getting her in a proper show condition like all the other trucks that I'm going to see there but I'll do my best to get her as clean as I can uh, what can you do eh she's a hard working she's a hard working girl anyway this is our load what we're taking down to poorly in the morning um, I might pop an extra strap over some of the stacks we'll see but um, I just wanted to get it out so I was out the way and that's the end of today's vlog I want to thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one guys